All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Winkleture's The Little Shop. Now, this is a very peaceful shop building game that I'm going to be happily bringing you guys. Um, this is a game that I'm going to play to the fullest. This will probably be one of the only games on my channel until we complete it. Due to the fact this is a very easy game to record when having two little boys uh, that might intrude all the time. So we're going to play a normal difficulty. I'm going to pick the biggest sized map that we can. And this is a game about paying off the debt that your family has kind of given to you with the shop. So you've taken in their, you're taking in your family shop, and now you have to go ahead and basically pay the, pay how like the taxes on the land, in order for you to basically survive. So I'm actually completely fine with this. Is my guy? Boom! We jumping into it. I know how to play. WASD, scroll wheel, R to replace items on the shelf. We're going to go straight into a build mode here. And what I want to do is I want to make our shop like this. Because to me, this will be good enough for now. It's only going to cost me 45 smackaroos. I'm going to put a little wall like this in here. I'm going to actually change the color of flooring as well. Just like so. And this is going to be the entranceway to our little shop, which is going to be kind of hidden over here. I do feel like I could go one more over, but I don't want to waste all of our money. So build mode, you guys just seen what that was about. That's how you'll edit and upgrade your shop. We have this massive, massive piece of land that we're going to be able to work with here. I can go into buy mode. I'm going to buy our counter, and this is where the people that will come to purchase our items will come stand. I should be able to squeeze through there. It's a little tight right now, but that's okay. As we upgrade our shop, things will get better. I'm then going to go ahead and put down some tables, which is where we will sell our items here. Now we have a lot of money. So with that money, I'm going to try and invest it all into possibly having enough stock to build this up. Now this looks a little ugly, but again, this is the beginning of our store. So I wouldn't really worry too much about the look of it, other than we're trying to bring in the maximum amount of profit that we can. So we have four or five, six little tables here that we can sell items from, which is awesome. I'm now gonna basically go through and buy one of everything until we run out of money here. This is kind of how it's gonna work out. Now I can only buy one more of these. So what's going on now is I have to pay 40 silver in four days and this will be the it'll go to one out of 20. I have to pay it down 20 times and once we fully pay it down then I'm guessing the game gets completed. I have no idea. I've never actually beat the game before so I'm excited to go on this little journey with you guys and if you're excited as well let me know down below in the comments. Other than that, we're gonna open up our little shop here. I don't really know a name, so... Kyrie, Ashuri, Treasured... We'll just call it the Treasured Inn. That sounds kind of interesting. I know it's not really an inn, but the Treasured Inn shop. There you go. Sounds pretty cool. And we're gonna open up to these people. These lovely people are gonna come in. We have pretty much the best variety right now that I've ever done in a start. I normally think I make my shop a little too big and I never actually have all the tables set up. I normally have like two tables. <sighs> Help me yawn. Sorry guys. I normally have just two tables going down. This lady is looking for wood. I literally have wood right here. I think because maybe it was queued in. That somebody was buying it already. That's probably why. Um, that they didn't notice I'm guessing. So the only items I have left are the soups and stuff like that. Now this guy is here to sell us items for a huge discount. You can see that this is the profit margin on everything we're going to get here. So right away I'm immediately going to top up. And I'm going to make sure I try and get the max amount of items that I can. And I would like to buy the max amount of items that can give me the best profit try and boost my margins here so that's the max that we have for inventory space i'm now going to go around and hit r on everything and hopefully everything restocks this is the only one that we didn't restock on and 
I don't remember exactly what would have been there. Hopefully, I'm guessing it was a potion. That's what we're probably missing out on. So that's everything there. I don't have what he's looking for, but we just did such an epic day one sale. I've never had it be that good. <laughs> $83 in one day. Holy crap. So at the top left, we have our items. We'll display them all here. Our objectives, which is just to pay the first one now because we leveled up. It wants us to put a pallet down, which will increase our inventory. It wants us to sell 50 items. And then up here, you have little events. So it's spring. Food becomes cheaper in spring. Tool prices are increased. Um, we also have our level up, which will unlock things, which we'll see in a second. And our appeal, which will bring in more people. Basically the beauty of our store. So if I go into buy here, we now unlock for leveling up. We unlock the crate. Just cheaper. Which is cheaper than the table, but it gives you less beauty. We unlock the pallet, which is what we need for more storage. So for now, we're just going to put this ugly little pallet by the front door. And that's pretty much all of our money. And then we're going to open up the shop. And now we, when things sell, we can actually go ahead and buy a lot more. Instead of just only having 15 inventory slots, we now have 27. So this is going perfectly. Now, the one thing we're missing is a potion so far so that's kind of sad but we'll make sure we try to top up on those items the items that we run out of are the items that i would like to personally buy so it looks like they're gonna buy that that which is nice and buying all of our food which is phenomenal so he's already this day's already going phenomenal we pretty much just sold out almost of everything i don't have any more shirts at all i don't have any more apples at all chick's buying everything i absolutely love her i could kiss her on the mouth so we're gonna go ahead and buy i have a lot of money so i'm gonna buy two of everything before we look at anything we're gonna buy two of everything so that's two of everything now we own i know for a fact the profit is most likely in the shirts and stuff like that nails have a high price right now so again this is an item that i definitely want to stock up on I'm going to see if I can get three of everything. We have $8 left, which is awesome. Again, the nails are a huge profit right now. So I think we're going to buy one more of those. Anything in here for very, very cheap? No. But the apples have a higher margin on them. So we're going to do that. We're going to walk around now really quickly. Do this. And this one, I don't know if I want to throw it down. I think that's everything on here. I think I want some potion. I didn't realize we actually had closer let me go back over here and re-top up everything but damn we're doing phenomenal right now i'm actually super impressed oh my god we're breaking in the dough damn 120 dollars in one day that's humongous i genuinely never had it be this good this quick definitely starting out with a ton of tables one for everything is the way to go and i don't think we unlocked anything in here yet I don't think you unlock anything in there for a while. We unlock the double table, which can hold two items, but has five extra appeal versus this here, but it costs just a little more. Mm -hmm. Oh, just vibrated really loudly. I apologize. Throw that on the bed so that doesn't happen again. We unlock the bigger storage pallet. We unlock stuff to increase our, like, heart or, oh. I didn't know there's little symbols over here. It provides light at night, I'm guessing, and then during the day it turns off. Uh, but this will give beauty to our store here. I don't know what this means. Do the bouquet. I don't know. I honestly don't know what that little thing there means. I think that's really cool though. We have the mirror, which will allow us to customize our character. But so far we're doing really good on inventory. So beauty is definitely what I want to focus on. We have one more day to it to pay down Piper. So. I don't want to maximize, like I don't want to buy something that costs 95. I wouldn't mind buying some lighting, especially because it's going to give us, you know, a little bit of a good good here in my mind. Lay one there, come in here and put one more down. Boom. There we go. I can still squeeze through, just barely. Can't squeeze through that side, which is fine, but that gave us the appeal there, which is nice. Uh, I don't really want a tree stump, but hey, I mean, it's gonna give me some increased attraction. 
Ask complete decoration one, perfection. Increase your hearts by placing seven items, sell 50 items. They are dead. Okay, so this day I have to actually just keep my money mainly and do good there. The one thing we're going to run out of is shirts, it looks like, and potions. Those are the only items that we only really have one of. So I think our day is going to go really nicely, though, because we actually have so freaking much stuff. So we just hit level shop five. Every five, I think, or every 10 levels, you unlock a crafting skill point, which you can spend at this menu here. You can basically unlock these kind of like little things to do on the side. So what I like to do is I like growing a kitchen garden just because it's going to give me the ability to grow crops. And every time you plant a seed, you guarantee you get your seed back plus the yield. So we're going to do that, and it gave us two seeds there, which is awesome. But I'm going to make sure I top up everything that I can top up. And then I got to make sure I buy everything that I basically am running out of. So just ran out of the shirt, which is fine. Everything's selling, which is phenomenal. Now I'm going to do that. This guy's only selling crops, it looks like. So that's not really the most enjoyable. Um, I ran out of shirts, which is nice. I can waste a little bit of money. Because this only needs to go to 40. So what I'll do is I'm just going to go. Actually, I lied. I'm going to only buy two of everything because I have to buy the stuff to place those down with. So let's make sure we have everything still kind of going on. Our shop still looks really nice for what we have, which is awesome. Did unlock new furniture. We hit level six already, which is insane. Sadly, I don't have the shirt anymore, so I apologize, sir. I hope you have a good day and thank you so much for stopping by. I'm gonna make sure we top up everything again. The shirt we do not have. We have so much money. My God, we're banging right now. Now because. I have all this cash. I'm going to buy... Oh, look at that. We unlocked the old cover. So the old cover, which is actually really useful, it holds three items. You're going to lose some heart because each table gives you 10 heart. Or this gives you 15 for three slots. But what I can do is I can save money. So I can grab this. All. It broke my appeal down, which is fine. But I can grab this now and put it in here. And that saved me a lot of money, which is really awesome. We have bigger storage inventory. We have a lot more stuff in here. How much is this? 30? Yeah, I would definitely like to put candles instead of uh, the torches, in my opinion. They would look a lot more beautiful. But right now, what I want to do is I want to go into build mode, go here, and I want to put a little back door. I'm going to put a little side door right here, please. I'm going to come outside. It's our little shop. It's very tiny right now, so maybe we'll go ahead and... Oh, I realized I was putting doors on every single, every single thing here, but you know, it is what it is. All right, there we go. We're going to confirm that. Expensive, but... Definitely needed. I'm gonna grab this piece of tea, this little table over here, and throw it back in this corner. I'm then gonna grab this can, this little torch here, and put it here. I'm gonna grab this, put it in the middle of the room there. Maybe back it up by a little bit. There you go, good enough. And what I need to do is now throw my items that I do have in stock over there. And we're gonna come outside now. I'm going to buy this. I'm also, I know I don't have the seeds for it, but I'm going to buy one more. Oh, I lied. I'm not going to buy one more. Because if you pay attention, we have to pay 40 coins right now. And I don't want it to go under 40. So we're going to plant these. Those will start growing. I can spend $21. So we're definitely going to do that on items we do not have. So we don't have a lot of items right now. But again, buying stuff from here is so expensive. Ooh, it hurts my soul to look at. 
Do we just wait it out or do we try to do good and get items that we can sell? Bucks, boom, let's do that. Honestly, I'd rather have a variety of items. I hear my son being a pain in the butt cheeks, so hopefully he calms down. But that should be everything. Everything we have in stock is on the shelves here. That's pretty much all we have. I'm gonna pay our first debt down. And now we have six days to pay 47 silver. Shop is upgrading, which is nice. I should be able to possibly come outside here, water those down in the morning, which is nice. I have to keep an eye on when things do go off the shelf because of the way this is now. But I'm gonna have to pause. Oh, no, we're good. Alicia grabbed them before he came in here. So shout outs to my lady for stopping my little troublemaker from causing some trouble. Now, I don't have anything that these guys want. And I don't think anybody's really buying anything. So purchasing things right now is going to be kind of a pain in the butt cheeks. So that's good. Somebody just bought a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to really bank on that being good enough for me to buy some things here. Now, it doesn't look like we're going to get anything really nice. So I'm going to just maximize my profit here. And buy 10 things of wood, which we're going to flip. Buying it for one each, and we can sell them for that much there. Uh, vegetable soup I don't need to buy right now. Sadly, this is literally everything we own is just soups and wood. How horrible is that? But we have a lot of money now, apparently. I don't know where all that money just came from, but... I do have to dismiss everybody that doesn't want what I have. That kind of hurts the soul. But that's okay. So... I'm not going to complain. We're about to turn heaven profit on these since we bought them all for one coin. So that's not bad. We bought 10 of them. And uh, yeah, I managed to mean magically I managed to make I don't even know how I made that much money. Like I genuinely don't know how we made that much money right there. What? That's so confusing. I'm going to water these bad boys. Come back in here. And we're going to go into the buy mode. We're going to look and see if there's anything we knew we unlocked. Don't think so. I would definitely like to put my apparel up, but I know I need to buy more variety. So again, we're going to use this even though it's never really worth it due to the fact that, oops, due to the fact that it's so expensive to buy stuff off this guy. But honestly, like it's the best I can do because I want to, I really, really, really want to maximize our margins. I really want to go ahead and I would like to get this seed from here because that's going to give me permanent flower. So maybe we don't buy these. We buy one of those if we can. It costs $31. Maybe we don't. I lied. We're not going to do that. We're then going to come in here. We're just going to go until we have no money left. Whatever I can buy for four. Doesn't seem like anything. But there we go. So we completely topped up. Yeah, it was pricey, but we're going to make a profit off of it. So that's completely fine by me. Gonna go in here, put everything out that I can. And I really have to think about what is going to sell versus what isn't because we only have room for six items here. So well, let's open up our shop. When people come in, we now have everything people can need. Yes, we have nine things of wood, but that's okay. That pretty much took up all of our inventory, but we're gonna be able to sell out hopefully everything. We bought almost two of everything. Some items we have three of, which is phenomenal. Now, items that they don't find in our shop, we most likely have it on our person. Just awesome. Like her, for example. Yes, I do have nails. I'll fold this. Once something sells out, then I can go ahead and pop up. My goodness, we're, we're popping right now. People want all the soup, which is great. So I'm going to keep doing that there. Kind of chill here because I know what that's what they're coming for. The shirt there this lady wants the flower i do have the flower i don't want the guy to go um so i'm gonna click on him right now wool so i have a few of these i can make six bucks off of it so maybe we'll just go up to five and i have nails so i'm gonna put a nail there do i have that i do so that just sold out i'm gonna put iron there I'm going to make sure I can put everything down that I have. 
before we top out on the items here. So I didn't have what he wanted, which, oh well, it is what it is. Don't have what she wants, but we made an insane profit off of doing that. Wow, that is, that's probably how you're supposed to play this game. That's for dang sure. I can go ahead and harvest up my potatoes now, which is awesome. So you're going to see they give me two potatoes each and it gives me my seeds back. So this is basically just free, free money. It's just Prince money for me, which is awesome. So if you guys enjoyed this, this is Winkletur's mm, The Little Shop. I really enjoy this game. It's super peaceful, super relaxing. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is my jump back into recording. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. Massive shout outs to everybody that has stuck around. Huge shout outs to everybody in the Discord. Liam, I love you, bro. Daidi, everybody that sticks around. I absolutely love you guys. D-Chan, Miko, everybody. Honestly, you guys know who you are. Anisa, like I shouldn't have to name you off. You know who you are for sticking around. Really chilling out. Just being a part of the community for so long. I definitely, definitely, definitely want to get things popping. But until we complete the 20 A's off on our shop here, we're going to keep going and uh, keep striving. So if you guys enjoyed this, I hope you really, really did. Let me know down below. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.